It's the first round of the Walmart Northwest Arkansas Championship presented by Procter & Gamble from Rogers, Arkansas. It's right down the road from the University of Arkansas down in Fayetteville. And Razorback Stacy Lewis is obviously a hometown favorite, giving the crowd here a little woo pig suey. And then knocks in this 12-foot birdie putt on the exciting par 3 17th. She would finish the day at 5 under 66. Current Arkansas Razorback golfer and amateur Dylan Kim would get the honor of representing her team this week at the Walmart Championship. The U.S. Women's Open qualifier would roll in this putt on the 14th. She would post a 1 under 70. Perrine Delacour also made some noise on the par 3 17th today, one of the loudest holes on the golf course. The NBA draft was just last night, and Delacour has been practicing her dunking. A slam dunk hole-in-one that would get her to 3 under 68. Lydia Ko had this 15-footer for birdie on the par 4 16th and finds the bottom of the cup. She would shoot 5 under 66. Michelle Wee struggled a touch early in her round with a triple bogey on the front nine, but with shots like this on the par 3 17th, she would post 4 under on the back nine and shoot 3 under 68. Last week's winner So Yan Yu is looking to jumpstart her title defense here in Arkansas. Birdies like this one on the 10th hole would help, she would finish her day at 4 under 68. Mo Martin would string a nice round together today, punctuating it with this birdie putt on number 18. A 6 under 65 leaves her in a tie for ninth. One person that Martin is chasing is Katrina Matthew, who would bring home her round in style with this eagle putt on the par 5 18th. Matthew would post a 7 under 64 and joins a large group that is tied for second. Nasa Hataoka is one that joined her at 7 under. Hataoka has been playing well of late and continues her good form with a birdie on the 18th. She finished her round with four straight birdies to post a 64. But none could match our leader, Gabby Lopez. She would sink putts like this one for birdie on the 11th. And this one for birdie on the 14th to cruise to a career low 8 under 63 to take her first lead ever after a round of an LPGA event.